uh, we'll talk about real numbers here real numbers are all those numbers that can be expressed on the number line right here or all those numbers that make sense that's not imagination so zero pick any number and put it on this line that is called real number one two three four five six negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five and um, that will be right here negative half one half and <clears throat> so these are all real numbers so real numbers are all those numbers that can be expressed in a number line which is there and <clears throat> real numbers are categorized in two subdivision right here so let's make a right diagram here so it'll be rational number rational numbers sorry about my writing and irrational number or irrational number so real numbers are symbolized as r rational numbers are all those numbers that can be expressed as a fraction can be expressed as a fraction can be expressed or well, let's say can, can be written written as fraction such example will be 5 we can write down this one 15 over 3 will give us 5 and add more numbers if we're ir irrational number or irrational number are, are those numbers which will be not this one so cannot be written as a a or b or whatever you call p p how we write p forgot to write p p over q so some math book calls p over q some uh, some call it a or b so as and b so the new uh, the numerator and denominator should give you this number if it is rational number irrational number it will not work for example if says square root of three the square root of three if uh, there is not a single integer that can give us square root of three uh, the two numbers square root of three there is nothing to give us that number square root of three is uh, let's see it just to be exact is 1.732 and more so we don't have any two numbers that we can write as an a fraction a and b and to equal to square root of three that nothing exists so that's why we call this as an irrational number we cannot express them as a fraction or as a ratio too so let's say we say like rational number now rational numbers can be categorized further in three groups rational numbers can be divided in three group let's do a diagram here will be a re uh, not real number natural number let's use this for number uh, we natural number is symbolized with n whole number with a w that's a w actually and integer which will be z let's talk individually these are rational numbers rational numbers we said we can express them as a a over b or you can pick any any alphabet say like c over d so any fraction you can express them so that that means anything that has a numerator and denominator where the denominator is not equal to zero so if that is equal to zero that will become a divided by zero it doesn't exist or it's go to infinity so we have nothing that is not uh, included in here so let's go further talk about natural number 
natural number or those not all numbers all number all those numbers that starts from starts from zero and goes to infinity called natural number example example will be as it says in definition pardon it's not zero it start from one to uh, infinity it's a uh, I was thinking of uh, whole numbers. So natural number, all number that start from one and goes to infinity called natural number. Example will be, example will be one, two, five, eight, nine hundred, thirty, thousand and more so these are called uh, a natural number now we go to whole number whole numbers are all those numbers that start from zero and goes to infinity all those number numbers starting from zero starting from zero and goes to infinity are called whole number whole number So example will be, let's use the example, example will be from 0 to 0, 0,3, 11, 5,500, and 35,000, let's make it, uh, Thirty-five thousand. Yes, that was right. And etc. Now we got talk about integers. Um, integers are all whole numbers. Numbers with their with their opposites and all whole, all whole numbers with their opposites whole numbers are consisting of um, zero to infinity which we can also say is um, all natural numbers with inclusion of zero and the uh, integers are all whole numbers with their opposites so what does that mean let's talk about an example so we said a whole number starts from zero and goes to one two three four and to infinity pick any number in between and just put a sign there will be negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0 doesn't have a sign, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are called integers, numbers, whole numbers with their sign, opposite signs are called integers, so we talked about um, real numbers, 
categorized in rational and irrational categories. Uh, we talked about rational numbers in quite detail. Now let's talk about irrational number here. Irrational number. A little bit more irrational numbers. Are all those numbers that cannot be expressed as a fraction. Cannot be written or expressed as a ratio or fraction. Example, square root of 3, square root of 5, square root of 2. These are all unique number. For example, square root of 3, let's say. Oh, that's 11. That doesn't see that. So square root of 3 is equal to, let's use calculator here. Square root of 3 is 1.7. 1 1.7. 1 3205081 there is not a single uh, there are not integers that can be written to express this number in numerator and denominator so we said this is irrational number because we cannot express them as a fraction same thing with the square root of 5 square root of 5 will be 5 square root is 2 point Two, three, six, zero, six, seven, and it goes on. We cannot express this as a fraction numbers too. And let's go to the square root of two. Square root of two will be one point four one four one point four one four two one three five, and it keep going on. And also we cannot these cannot be expressed as a fraction so we can we call them irrational number hope this works hope to see you next time with a, a little bit more fun will be application of math simple math will be addition sub subtraction subtraction and um, multiplication and division up until then take care guys and please do not forget to subscribe and like this channel thank you